Welcome back to the Tidwell Taste Tour, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say thank you to all of our fans for joining. We are in Windsor in the United Kingdom, uh, just outside of London. It is a wonderful, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous early spring day here. Very glad we got to spend this time here because this is just great. So, this is the Windsor and Eaton Brewery, like I've said many times, right behind us, uh, or actually in front of us there on Duke Street in Windsor. Uh, this is the Windsor and Eaton Brewery Kohinoor IPA. It's 5.5% alcohol by volume. Hmm. Brewed and bottled uh, at the Windsor and Eaton Brewery, Duke Street, Windsor, Berkshire, SL41SE. Uh, okay. It says, meaning Mountain of Light in Persian. Kohinoor. Uh oh. We have Might a have friend. A <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hey, bud. <laughs> uh, nothing like having a visitor on the tour, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> He's all wet, too. So, it says, meaning mountain of light in Persian. Kohinoor, pronounced Kohinoor, is hard to say, but a pleasure to drink. Kohinoor is made with exotic spices from India and jasmine petals from the East Indies. The result is a refreshingly different IPA. Originally brewed to celebrate the 2012 Diamond Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II, Kohinoor is now one of our most prized beers. We brew with style, imagination, and passion. So whenever you enjoy one of our beers, you'll be drinking a glass of better beer. Or a, wait, a better glass of beer. Sorry if the if my camera work was a little shoddy. <laughs> the, the dog. He distracted me. Oh yeah, definitely has the Indian flavors, the spices. I get a little bit of the jasmine. It's definitely a, a an oddly spiced ale. Have you ever had one like it? Yes, I have. It tastes very similar to something I've had. Couldn't tell you what it was. No idea. But it has. I, I've tasted this flavor before. Yeah. You know what? You know what I mean. You know how yeah, you yeah, have that sensation yeah. where it's like I have no idea where. I have no idea when. Couldn't even. But it's even, familiar. Even if I saw it, I yeah. wouldn't know that that was the one. Right. I know I've tasted something like this before, though. Huh. Um. I mean, it's solid. It really is. It's a, it's a nice, unique IPA. I certainly can't say that I've had one quite like this here in the UK. Uh, but it's, it's definitely different. It's, it's good. It's different in a good way. Uh, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but you definitely get odd spices like Asian, the East Asian style spices that slightly make it different. So uh, let's see what you think. As I said, here in Windsor, nice, nice, nice day. Oh God. She's got nothing. It's good, but I I can't taste the jasmine. Okay. I like it though. No okay. different. I'll zoom in on the castle behind her here. There's the cathedral. And then slowly panning over. Man, when you zoom in that far, it is kind of hard, even with this optical steady shot, to hold it really steady. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, rate it. I'd probably give it like a six. I would give this one, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give this one a six and a half. Anything else to say? No, it's, it's just different, but like I can't taste the... I can't taste what it says that it has on there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Cool. All right, well, Taste Store will be back. Thanks for joining us. Join in next time. And uh, have this lovely view there right across the Thames to Windsor Castle.